21-year-old Jessica Sacco's landlord found her dismembered body under a pile of clothes in her West Light Street home last month. Right now, her on-again, off-again boyfriend, 25-year-old Matthew Puccio, is accused of killing her and four others face charges in connection with her death. Tonight, those who knew Sacco gathered to remember her by candlelight. Our Lex Ashwell was there. She's live with our top story at 11. Well, Holly, we've been learning more and more about Jessica since her body was discovered in her home last week. Friends say she was originally from California, and that is where they believe funeral services will be held. Subsequently, it was the reason behind tonight's vigil. The community wanted to have a chance to say their goodbyes. A makeshift memorial covers what was the entrance to a gruesome crime scene one week ago, where 21-year-old Jessica Sacco was found stabbed, suffocated, and dismembered. Just a way to have some sort of comfort, some sort of way to say goodbye. Friends and neighbors of Jessica lit candles and left tokens on her doorstep. Then one by one shared their deepest sympathies and greatest memories of her on a poster for her family to cherish. My first impression when she first met her, she was just such a bubbly personality is what she had. Very, very nice girl. Very nice girl. When she started laughing, it was, it was contagious. You couldn't help it. You could be in the worst mood ever, and she would start talking and laughing, and you couldn't help but to start laughing with her. But mixed with the happy tears are still ones of hurt and anger. The community continues to have a hard time grasping who would want to hurt who they describe as an amazing person with a true zest for life. What happened to her, it's, uh, it's actually broken my heart, and, uh, and my broken heart goes out to her and the rest of her family. And I cannot believe that there are in this world monsters like the ones that did what they did. He just, he doesn't want to admit to what he did, and what he did is he took a beautiful person away from all of us, and now he doesn't want to take the fault for it. It's important to note no one has been convicted in this case. Puccio is the only person charged with Jessica's murder. Just Friday, he told a judge he is clinically insane. He faces life in prison. All five suspects are charged with failure to report a crime, and all but one are charged with abuse of a corpse. We will have updates on this case as it develops. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.